Okay, so in this video, we're going to create a box and cross pattern. And let's just see how this is. This is the Juki PM1 software. So I'm in the upper left hand corner for polygon input. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go to input device. I'm going to do keyboard input. And then I'm going to enter the coordinates. So I'm going to start here. It's going to be a three quarter by three quarter box and cross. So it's going to be uh, in millimeters, 9.5. <coughs> and you're going to see the blue dots coming into the screen and it's going to start drawing the line. Now some box and cross patterns have double rows on the left and right side, superimposed, and some are going to be separated. Here we're going to make this separated. Notice I made a mistake in my life that was just highlight and just change the value here. And a little bit of a back tack, overlap rather. And this is the configuration data, so I just hit enter and I can close that out. So there's no stitches that have been created yet. So now we're going to create the stitches. We have the configuration data. So I'm um, I got rid of this button up here on the left hand corner. I'm going to go to this one here that says normal stitching. Let's close this window out here. Normal stitching. So I'm going to highlight. And then when I right click, the regular stitch dialog box comes up. And this is the stitch length and the speed. And these are your other options that you have here. So now it changed from blue to red. If I want to see the stitches, I'm going to go to view. Stitch point on, and there's the stitches. Then if I want to save it, I'm going to go to condition set, setting. And I'm going to make this my folder. And then I'm going to hit output. <clears throat> and up top, top here is telling you the machine model. So with that particular machine model, it's going to give you two options. And Primarily, you're going to use vector format. It's going to put the thread trim signal in automatically. <clears throat> I have created a pattern before, so that's if I want it to be overwritten, and I'm going to just say yes. And there's my pattern. If I need to change the machine type, I could change the machine type here to something else. And what that'll do, like if we change it to an LK machine, which takes the same format, okay? See this dotted line on the outside? That's the sewing field of the machine. So you'll be within that range, and it'll set that up. If I wanted to move this pattern down, I could take Edit and Parallel Move Down. I can move it down. Again, these are all in millimeters. I can move it up or down. I can move it in any direction. If I want to make the pattern bigger or smaller, can do that here. Now it's going to give me an option. If you notice up top here it says 48 stitches, I could increase the number of stitches or decrease the number of stitches. So it became 28 and made a smaller pattern. Let's go to a new pattern here. And let's make this let's change this model machine again. Okay, and, and let's just do a line tech now. I can use I can put the numbers in the input or I can use the mouse and click it. Okay, and if I wanted to adjust that, I have an icon here to configuration point move, and I'm gonna tell it so I could do it by actual coordinates. 
kind of just change this to some nice even numbers. And then I'll change this side here the same. And we'll have a nice straight pattern. And in this, in this case, we're going to make a zigzag. So I've clicked this button here, which is the extended zigzag. And left click to highlight it, and then right click, and then this is the dialog that comes up. And now I have several options. This is a zigzag length. So that, I'll show you what that is. This is the zigzag width. And you have the directions right, left, center, and edge. And so there's various ways you can present this zigzag. But here's the pattern. Now let's view this stitch. Okay, so this distance, notice I'm using the dial on my mouse to make it bigger here. But this distance here is the two millimeters, this distance. And this is the 10 millimeters. This is the 10 millimeter width. Okay. So now if I wanted to if I wanted to change this, I can just highlight this button here, stitch pitch change, highlight this, and I could change this. Okay. Here if I want to do a back tap at the beginning or at the end, I have options. I could do both. I could do single stitch or double stitch. So now if you want to see what this does, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to go needle trace. You turn to the top. And with the stop button here, you're going to see it follow the red and green. It's following this, the pattern of the way it's going. Okay. If I want to change the direction, I'm going to first delete the uh, these reds here. I'm going to do just just hit delete, and that'll delete that section. See the highlighted the blue and. The arrows on your keyboard, you can kind of move this around. And I'm going to change the direction now. There's an icon here for sewing direction change. So before it started on this side and went here, now it's going to go the other way. You see, this is where it jumped. The blue line is a jump. So now it's going in that direction. Okay. So you could do that, you could do a circle, circle is any three points, and you can make it a zigzag as well. That would be like for an eyelet. Okay. If you want to delete a certain one particular point, needle entry move, needle entry deletion, I could take this one and just move this and just delete that one stitch. If I want to add a stitch, I can hit this button here, needle entry addition, I could add a stitch and add it, add it a stitch. If I wanted to cut the line, I can cut this. to get oh that's for a stitch we don't want to cut that we want to cut a line here so if we cut a, a line of configuration data we could separate that and now I've got two sections here so I can have different stitch lengths at different sizes if you want to add if you want to delete the uh, when I go to save this It's going to add the trim before jumping. So here's a trim, and here's the other trim. If I need to delete that, I can delete that here with mechanical control deletion. These, this bottom section here, are mechanical control, so you have tensions. So it's electronic tension. You can tell it where you want it to be. And that's the tension. If I want to have a reference point for enlargement and reduction, because remember earlier we could show you how you made the pattern bigger and smaller, you could specify a point in the system here or where you want it to be a reference point. You can change the order of elements. Stitch length change. You can have a second origin produced. 
so you can make a second origin here so what will happen is it will always go to this point and that's the G section it will go from here to G and wait when you step on the pedal and start it will go to this section and be here print this can give you a printout what you want to do you can change your settings for printing okay you can print that if you want you have management information so if I on certain AMS machines and on the LK 900 B you have LED screens so you can put a comment here and then when it's uploaded onto the machine whatever you wrote here in management information will show up on the screen so you can name it whatever style number you want these are just some basic uh, programming instructions for the PM1 for more information you can contact us this is Cambertron sewing machine and my name is Robert and uh, if you have any questions give us a call our number is 201-941-5116 thank you